what we got up to last time on Sailing Catalpa. We made it to the top of an active volcano, Appy, in the Banda Sea. Enjoy beautiful views and kids leave us for dead on the way down. Lee cleans the generator and we visit a fort on Bandanira. Phone call the other day saying that uh, from my stepmom and she said, can I come visit you guys? And uh, we were pretty stoked about that. So my uh, mommy, Shawnee, is coming to stay with us and uh, she's just been crazily shopping in Darwin for us because, you know, someone's coming from Australia. We're like, can you bring this and this and this? And I think she's got about 30 plus kilos of luggage. So thank you, mommy. <laughs> we got a call later that day. I think I'm nearly here. So we went up on deck to see. Yep, here's the boat. I'm right up on the top deck. I was crouching below the light. That's all right. I got a. Are you? You? Yeah. So uh, we just watched Shawnee's boat come in. Shawnee's here, and we're just going to go over in the tender and go pick her up with her mass amount of luggage. <laughs> she's a trooper. She's done so good. She's travelled from. She went to Darwin and then Darwin to Bali. Bali, she did three stops. I think she went Bali, Surabaya, then Surabaya to Makassar, Makassar to Ambon, and then she's got to Ambon, and then within hours she's got on a boat in the middle of the night and she's come to the Banda Islands. So, very exciting. We're so excited to see her and we're just looking forward to having some fun. Yeah. Let's go get her. We jumped in the tender for a two minute ride to where the boat arrived. worked out the best place to retrieve a grandma and settle for hopping over two other boats to the dock. Lee jumped up and spotted a bule with a whole lot of bags. Yup, that's her. <laughs> and then here. Yeah. From one boat to the next, we got the bags and grandma safe to Catalpa. A few hugs and hellos and then it was time to see what was brought over from Australia. We have been away from Australia for nearly six months. What would you miss from being away from home? For us, a lot of it was in these bags. And yes, most of mummy's luggage was for us. Isn't she the best? What were some of the things we missed? Well, maybe you can see in our excitement. <laughs> I just forgot my Santa Claus hat. Yeah. Bill, Bill. Mummy has brought presents. Presents! Oh, these are we've got Australian. Like. Australian. Australian oh, food. yeah, they're mummies. And dad shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Someone asked a question on uh, on our YouTube Does Taj own Ooh. any other pants? And he does now! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, we did bring supplies of. Oh, here we go. Oh. Mama. They're my undies. Yeah. Woo! 
You should see my undies I got going on. Uh, a mummy? That's them. <laughs> this is one of my favourite undies in the world. All not, right, well, we got one pair. Not this colour, but hey, what? I love this cut. This is the best undies in the world. We got one pair. Why? Well, I, I hope they're all right, though. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Ah, That's cool. Yeah. Granddad oh loves gosh, his. A big one. That's a big one. You know, muesli and flowers mushroom. and oil, but I'm thinking, do I write the word mushroom? <laughs> we haven't had yeah, muesli, we haven't had muesli. Had sad, I'm not I'm sure that sure they're, they're around there. anymore. Oh, oh, hi, pasta. Yes. Oh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and this was what I was worried about. Uh, Timey, okay, they've got oh, the look food. this, I'm looking at <gasps> And this is what Lee gets bought over from Australia. <laughs> They're only like the 80 I get the job. <laughs> Keep us work. sailing. That's what you ask. These yeah. are bags like Mary Poppins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the It keeps falling out. You think it's empty and then you open it. got some yeah. nav lights. And this is your. The nail polish one I can, can take go. Away, uh... Nail yeah, Bella's polish. green, uh, nail the, polish. yeah, the green nail polish. Oh no! It got us out of trouble, but we got some new ones. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, just so we can, if we get appliances here, yeah. I can just chop the lead and I'll wire them up. I've got white, I think you've got the black ones. <laughs> and I don't have any left, so I knew you'd think of things like that. <laughs> Is that cool? She has been asking for a little bag since she was Even with it, I still managed to stab myself in the wrist. Thank you. Talk over here. Daddy needs those. Oh my, this is all my art peel. Look at you, you little art lady. <laughs> Grandma, you were an absolute legend sorting all of these things in a few days. We love you so much. Oh. This is Shawnee. Shawnee's going to be here for we don't know how long, so <laughs> get I used get to it. <laughs> She's finally got one of his own shirts. And it looks good, bud. Feels yeah. nice. Time to show Shawnee the fishes. Lee bought his spear gun, but no fishes for dinner tonight. <laughs> we headed over to Bandanera for a bit of a walk around the island. These are fried bananas and delicious. Isn't this little guy cutie? This is Fort Nassau. This fort was built by the Dutch in 1609 
and was the first fort built on Bandanera, and its purpose was to control the trade of the nutmeg. The fort clearly hasn't been restored, but here you can see some of the remains. We went back through the markets and wanted to show Grandma some of our favourite lollies in Indonesia. We got back to Katalpa and not long after we got some visitors. These cuties swam out to say hello, and it wasn't long until most of the kids from the nearby village were aboard. Captain! <laughs> we get asked all the time, where is your favourite place you have sailed? And the answer isn't a place, it's the people. What makes a place memorable and special is the people we meet. Just like these kids with their infectious laughs and happy smiles. They were the most polite and well-behaved bunch of kids. It was such a pleasure to have them aboard, and I think we had just as much as fun as them. To see our kids all having a blast together warmed my heart. We may not have much to show in the materialistic world, but our experiences we have had along the way make our lives richer than we can ever imagine. This is why we love to travel. This is why we sailed off into the sunset. And this is why our decision to live aboard and see the world was the best decision this little family has ever made. I will forever hold a place in my heart for these islands because of these beautiful kids. <laughs> then just like that, they heard a call from the shore and one by one they jumped in to swim back home. <laughs> See you next time.
I'll see you next time. <laughs> Oh, so I think. Bye bye. You want to take him back in? <laughs> I think the half that swam ashore first were a bit bummed they didn't get a ride. But somehow I don't think it will be the last time we see these guys. of Garang Api. Not bleeding from the knuckles, cleaning barnacles off. The base of a beautiful volcano that I don't want to walk again until I'm a little bit fitter. Um, well, you're not getting any younger. Yeah, like a bottle of wine. I get better with age. I didn't say you weren't good, I just said you weren't getting any younger. I think these little kids are going to miss us this afternoon. Yep, the fun part's moving on. Hata Island is only 12 nautical miles away and known for its beautiful dive spots and showed some free moorings, so we thought we would go check it out. <laughs> what do you want? It's very exciting, we haven't caught a fish since Rote. Since November, December. Yes. <laughs> there he is, okay, slowly, slowly. All right, sturdy, it's a Mac. Ah, Mama. that's all right. Will you eat it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Is it a Mac? Yeah. Yes, that's a Benito. Benito. Oh, I don't want to gap him. Ugh, Benito. Yeah. We're fussy. It's alright, it's good news for you, buddy. We arrived and spotted the mooring buoys. They look quite close to the reef, so Lee and I decided to check the moorings out in the tender before taking Catalpa in too close to the reef. At least the mooring buoys here, so we're, Lee and I are just going to check them out because they look really close to the shore. 
leave the others floating out here and uh, we'll go see if we can tie under these mooring boys. They're dodgy, we may have to leave. <laughs> In I go. And yeah, we won't be relying on that bit of rope tied to the reef to hold Catalpa. Bummer. Lee and I drove around most of the island looking for somewhere to anchor Catalpa. But like a lot of islands here in Indonesia, it goes from hundreds of metres deep to about five metres over the reef. Back to the Catalpa to give the others the bad news. And just to check our satellite imagery. But it didn't look promising. We were really relying on the mooring boys. We couldn't stop here, but it won't stop us from having a swim. We headed back to Bandanera and on our way we had some friends join us. <laughs> Check out Mummy's face. <laughs> Priceless. Island because we couldn't anchor there, so we're back around the 
the other side of Garang Api, that is Garang Api there. We're the other side of the airport here and uh, we think there's an anchorage here so this is where we're going to stay for the night. Um, we're going to head off in the morning and go explore an island that we can anchor on, hopefully. That's the plan. So this is where we were. This is where we're going to anchor tonight. Zoom out and show them where we went today. We went all the way out to this little fella. That is Hatta Island. And uh, you can't anchor there and the free moorings are not very good. You could probably anchor your tender, I mean, tie off your tender, that's about all. They were very dodgy. So, we've come back and tomorrow we're going to try and go out to this little guy. A or I Island. Lao Hai. So, we'll see how we go. See if we can anchor out there. Looking tonight, what are we having, oh. Mummy? What's on the menu? Um, pasta, mushroom. It smells mushroom better sauce. than just pasta. <laughs> there's mushrooms, there's things that we've smell good. Miso. And we've got cream! I know. <laughs> we just all got excited because we realised we still had cream. And it's still edible. Yeah, <laughs> which makes me question it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been in the rum bottle. That is a preservative. Yeah. It's there you good. go. That's why I put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're heading off again this morning. We're going to go out to a little island that's not far from here. And then we're going to go to A. A? A Island. Hopefully there's anchorages on both of them. Otherwise we'll be back here tonight. So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we explore some more islands in the Bunda Group. So that was episode 82. Three. So that was episode 83. We hope you guys enjoyed watching what we got up to. So if you liked it, put a thumbs up. Yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. And if you don't know when, when new videos are coming out, click on the bell. That will give you notifications of all our new stuff. We're still in Timor Leste in Dili, and we've got a little bit of a issue with our anchor winch. We've got an absolute legend, Doug looking after us um, in Australia so he's organizing things to get sent to Darwin for us so we can be on our way again. Good news, I think everything has arrived in Darwin. Our next drama is getting everything from Darwin over to here and um, we will have to sort that out this week but fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed that we can get out of here really soon. We love your support. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>